The Fred Jackson Show on WBBZ TV. Sponsored by Buffalo Wine and Brew, Transit Road to Pew, Brew Beer, Make Wine. The Buffalo Roadhouse Grill, Niagara Falls Boulevard near the 290, where the Buffalonians roam. Duville College, educating for life. On the Rocks Liquor, Discount Liquors, Bailey Avenue, Buffalo. And Rhymer Heating and Air Conditioning, with the Wizard of Comfort and your hometown comfort professionals. Now, from the WBBZ TV studio at the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time for the Fred Jackson Show with running back Fred Jackson and co host Bob Koshinsky. And welcome to the Fred Jackson Show. It's always better after a win, and why not? The star of our show, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fred Jackson. And uh, we've got a great audience tonight. First of all, we have the Williamsville South High School football team in the house tonight. Our special guest, Frank the Tank Summers, is our guest tonight. Thanks, Frank. We've got from 97 Rock, DJ Dave Jixter. And Mr. Social Media himself, Mr. Brad Gelber, is here to take all your questions on Twitter and Facebook. You know, so everybody's got a nickname tonight. <laughs> yeah. I've got one I can't use, and my wife calls, calls me. Uh, it's not nice. Uh, <laughs> Fred, you know, as I said, it's always better after a win. Mm. Uh, great win over Detroit in a hostile environment. But let's start at the top. I've had a lot of questions today, people wondering, how is Fred? You came back in the game. How are you feeling today? I'm definitely sore, but, uh, you know, I'm okay. You know, it's one of those things that's a hyperextended knee and a sprained ankle all on the same play. Uh, but it, it's just one of those things where you have to deal with injuries in football, and, you know, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, a couple years ago, I heard an NFL player say, for those who are involved in the game, it's like being in a traffic accident every Sunday. Yeah. That's to, to compare it to a citizen, how they would feel on a Monday. And you've had a, a couple of weeks in a row now where you've t taken some hits. You left the game earlier yesterday, too. I was guessing with maybe a reoccurrence of something in the upper shoulders. I don't remember, you know, but... Uh I'm, I'm sure it was something. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we hit a lot of people. Like you said, car accident all the time. Uh, and I'm sure at some point I, I did something, and I, I just actually don't remember what it might have been. Now, as much as we're all concerned, I heard that today maybe some of your teammates weren't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I caught a lot of heat today in the locker room. Uh, they said I was milking my injury, you know, trying to get my, my little – 30 seconds of fame on the camera by laying around on the field. And uh, they, they even took some shots at, at Frank and CJ today as well. So they, that I think they weren't too happy about it at all. It's all in good fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Mr. Mr. Kyle Williams and uh, Lee Smith both gave me a hard time today. And uh, they said it was their fault. They, they took me as a tough guy, and, you know, I let them down <laughs> yesterday. So uh, it, it's what, what they decided to well, do. Well, there was a very serious moment yesterday. Ron Brooks mm -hmm. was on the field. That was very scary, but I understand he's on his way back to Buffalo. He's released from the hospital. So hopefully everything's okay. Yeah, you know, from everything I heard, you know, everything was going well. Uh, all the tests came back negative, and uh, he was doing good. Even when he left the field, he was in good spirits. He said, everybody keep playing. Uh, he'll be his, his exact words. I'm just going to the locker room real quick. I'll be back in 10 minutes. So uh, anytime you get a guy like that, it definitely eases uh, the, the, the moment and, and, and allows guys to go back and uh, relax and play football. Let's talk about that first uh, half yesterday. The team's down 14 nothing. The cameras took a shot of you on the sidelines of some of the team kind of rallying the troops. Uh, what did you say? Do you think that had an effect? Why did things start to click for this team? Well, I think so. Um, and all I said was, you know, what everybody else was thinking is – it, it wasn't anything that they were doing to us. It's, it's always, that's what it always boils down to. Uh, when we're struggling on offense, it's what we're doing. It's not necessarily what a team is doing to us. And uh, we, with the penalties, you know, turnovers, things like that, uh, you put yourselves in those situations, it's going to be hard to win a game, and especially when you're playing a good team on the road. Um, and I said, we just need to get out of our own way, go out there and uh, do what we need to do one play at a time. Uh, play for the guy next to you. Uh, do your job, and uh, we'll get back in this thing. And uh, we were able to go out there and uh, 
play and compete, and we got back in the game and gave ourselves a chance to win it. Great win. Kyle Orton made some big plays down the stretch, uh, but this running game is struggling right now. What can you guys do to turn that around? Uh, we just got to be consistent in, in, in getting the plays called, and uh, it's, it's got to be a mindset. We just got to go out there and say, hey, we're going to run the ball, and we have to get better at doing it. Uh, we, we got a guy in Kyle that can come in and he can throw for us. Uh, so we got to be able to take some of that pressure off of him and get the running game going. And uh, we got to take that upon ourselves as, as, as running backs and as an offensive line and say we need to get this thing turned around. CJ took some criticism today. I heard some of the talk shows. Is there anything different CJ's doing or is it, is it still a problem collectively? It's, it's always collectively. You know, uh, anytime you get one person like that, you know, as, as dynamic as he is, he's going to take a lot of crap for it. But uh, it, it's stuff we got to do as an offensive unit. And we, we watch it on film today and we see it. You know, guys got to uh, get off blocks. He's got to hit holes, uh, things. But it's, it's all collective. And uh, once we get on the same page, I think uh, things get turned around. Uh, before we take a break, I just think it, it was so fitting to have the final game under the Ralph Wilson ownership to end up in Detroit, uh, his home city, mm -hmm. and to win it on a long field goal. Storybook. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's something I think Hollywood called in and, and set it up for us, uh, you would think anyway. Uh, it was great, though, uh, to be able to end it in, in, in a comeback fashion. Our defense playing as well as they did, and the offense start finally to start clicking, and we give a guy, you know, Dan Carpenter, the opportunity to win the game, and we go out and get it done. Uh, and send them out with a win was a great thing for us to do. To tell you something about this league, Dan Carpenter was released by the Dolphins. Yeah, <laughs> hard to believe. Regretting, regretting that. I mean, I'm glad. You know, he's a, a secret weapon that we have on the sideline and one that we can count on at any moment. Okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Frank the Tank Summers will be our guest right after this on the Fred Jackson Show. <laughs> 